going to give you a quick overview of this uh, handmade replica of Newton's first reflecting telescope. In fact, um, it may not be his first telescope. The original is actually on display at the Royal Society in London. This is actually a replica of the telescope that he actually presented to the Royal Society in 1672. More information about the telescope is available from our site online um, at uh, pulsaroptical.com uh, uh, but for the time being I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the, of the salient parts of the telescope so you can see how it all fits together. Um, we have a cardboard tube uh, with a metal uh, supporting structure. We know that he made the telescope in this way as a kind of a, a, a test chassis so that he could try different mirrors. Uh, we know for example that it had a cutout for a different eyepiece position um, that uh, there was also a cutout at the front here from a different configuration that you may have tried. Um, the telescopes are uh, mounted on a uh, ball mounting, uh, making it very easy to point it at different areas of the sky. You can see we've actually got full, full motion there. Um, to focus the instrument, that's achieved by this very simple thumb screw uh, at the rear here. And you notice that it's actually moving this main tube backwards and forwards. I don't know whether you can see that there as I turn it back the other way. Um, I'm just going to take the telescope apart and it might be worth pulling in a little bit closer on these clips and they actually simply pull off the instrument releasing the pressure on this band at the back here and there's another one at the front simply pull that one back as well then we can simply put the two tubes together and actually just tease that out of there and there we go, we take the two tubes apart hey presto the mirror has been mounted on the replica pretty much permanently in the base tube. The original actually had a removable wooden cell, but we've simplified it very slightly um, just to make sure that the uh, user actually can't injure, injure the mirror at all. I don't know whether you can see that down there. The mirror is very dull. It's been made of soft metal. It's been hand finished uh, along with the rest of the components of the telescope. I'm just going to put it back together by sliding that in there, bringing that up. And we'll just put that clip on this one. I'll just put that in position there. And there we go, ready to observe again.